Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin and welcome back to another Call of Duty Modern Warfare video. In tonight's video, we're going to be doing a best class setup, another episode, I believe it's episode 9 of my Modern Warfare best class setup videos, and today we're talking about the AK-47, the big weapon on the assault rifle category unlocked late level 53, and basically the AK-47 is a fully automatic assault rifle that can output damaging rounds at the cost of control and accuracy. Well-placed shots can be very rewarding, but can also be difficult due to its severe recoil. This is the description available that I found online of the AK-47 in this game, and honestly, I think that description is a little bit accurate. However, they they act like the recoil is out, kind of out of control, but with this setup, I find the recoil ain't that bad, and that high damage is definitely noticeable. I mean, this thing, if you slap stopping power on or stopping power rounds with a field upgrade, you are melting them instantly, and even without that, this thing is an absolutely godlike weapon just because of its high damage. Now, you see some nice gameplays here where I joined in late. I, this game, because of the lobbies, like, basically, there's no lobbies you just filter quick play it's i feel like i'm always joining in late into games but i was able to get some nice streaks up quick and by using this weapon on uh, arc law peak i think this is a weapon that's made for you know more of a mid to long range sort of uh gunfight scenarios and that's how you can make this weapon super duper strong so we'll talk about all the attachments talk about the perks set up on this weapon and get into what makes this weapon strong and the play style that you're going to want to use with it so if you guys could drop a like on this video let's go ahead and go for 840 likes that would be absolutely incredible smack that like button you guys have been just absolutely killing it lately also subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and not already subscribed we're up over i think we're at 977,000 on that road to a million subscribers the growth has just been insane so shout out to everyone new subscribing shout out to everyone that's already subscribed supporting by dropping likes and comments y'all are absolutely amazing and i really really do appreciate the support so when it comes down to this weapon uh, actually this weapon does have around the same time to kill as an m4 it may not seem like that um and it may seem because of this weapon having the uh three shots to kill and Instead of the M4, which takes four shots to kill, that's how it sort of balances out. Of course, your M4 has a much faster fire rate than your AK, but this thing literally kills people in three shots, so the time to kills are very comparable, and the M4 is ridiculously overpowered in this game, so if you have a weapon that can compete with that, this is definitely a weapon you don't want to sleep on, and honestly, I think I was probably sleeping on this one for a little bit early in the game cycle, but that's because it's unlocked later, and you know, usually you want to, you know, you had to earn up to level 53 before you start unlocking this, and then of course you have to grind out all the attachments before you make an absolutely amazing setup but this weapon has some amazing attachments on it available like the skeleton stock that help to make up for a lot of its weaknesses we'll talk about that in a second but first of all the gameplay up on the screen like i said uh with this weapon what you want to do is use that more of a range where uh you know only having to hit them with three shots of course it's more at range but it's very nice and the fact that they say it's hard to control and has high recoil i find that with this setup you can basically control it to a bouncing sort of recoil and the stability and those sort of issues that you might have on other assault rifles that you're trying to speed up with the class setup, I go the opposite way, and I don't really necessarily try to speed up this weapon. I try to make it controllable. So you want to play with a little bit more of a slower style, but be able to do high damage. So let's go through the perk setup that I use on this thing. Uh, perk one is going to be EOD. Now, EOD is basically flak jacket. It's also going to be getting buffed in the next patch update. Uh, that's what they are announcing. That's what they've been teasing uh, happening in Modern Warfare. So that is very, very exciting that EOD is going to get a buff when it's probably already, I guess you could say the second best perk one because overkill is just a joke as of right now uh just be you know until they nerf that shotgun which is also coming in the next patch update perk two kill chain now this is so damn important to this setup because with the big streaks that i run eight uh, 8, eight, 10, and then 12. It's really, really important. I also, I think I mixed up the streaks uh, on different things. I think I used one uh, in one of these gameplays. I had advanced UAV and the uh, Pavlo, which is the support helo. And another one I had just the big three, which is the AC-130, the uh, chopper gunner, and the VTOL warship, aka the Harrier. But the kill chain, no matter what, I'm always rocking VTOL warship. And once I get that at eight kills, which eight kills is kind of tough to get, but it's definitely doable, then you call that thing in and it just goes absolutely ham. If you're on 10v10 or 30 32 v 32 kill chain is so important because I call that in and I'm almost guaranteed to hit my max streaks as long as I don't get rushed at that exact moment or I don't really choke uh, in that exact moment. Kill chain is amazing as far as perk two. Perk three, I rock with battle harden, which is tack mask. Once again, I think this one, I think they're looking into it. I'm not sure if it'll get buffed uh, in the next one or soon, but it is kind of nice because if you're posted up in a building or if you're just uh, on a head glitch, people all have a bunch of tacticals in this game and not many run the stim shot like I do. By the way, stim shot and clay on the setup like usual are just super duper strong uh, but battle harden is very nice for when they're trying to stun or flash you out anyway let's go ahead and break it down and get right into going in depth in the class setup menu on these attachments 
All right, what is up guys? Let's go ahead and break down the five attachments that I use on this weapon to make this thing have a very good control on it and be able to hit your shots and take advantage of that high damage and that three shot kill. So first of all, with the barrel, you wanna get the last unlocked barrel here, which is the 23 inch Romanian. It's a barrel with a built in solid wood grip, the most stable and accurate barrel available. A substantial weight slows movement and handling. And this is sort of the curse of the assault rifles. You do have to give up your ADS speed and your movement speed, but it's definitely needed on a weapon like this. You're getting the big three, recoil control, bullet velocity, and damage range, which those three are so important on this gun because lit like it's actually like this attachment is made in perfection with this. Damage at range, this is a weapon you want to be able to uh, continue, be, you know, it's made for a mid to long range. Bullet velocity, increasing that time to kill a little bit. And then the recoil control, which like I said, probably the big, one of the big weaknesses that people say about this weapon is it has a little bit of recoil. Uh, that's very, very helpful. And like I talk about a lot when I talk about this game, the time to kill is so fast. It's like by the time you kill, by the time the recoil is kicking in, you've already killed the enemy. And it's very, very effective in that sort of regard. Of course, giving up your ADS speed and move speed, this is not a setup that's made for uh, rushing. This is made for assault rifle, uh, you know, picking people off and using uh, the gunplay of an AR. Next is with the optic sight. Personally, I do, uh, you know, I go on and off with optic sights depending on the weapon. Now with this one, I do like using a sight and I like using the uh, Cronin Mini Reflex, which is the circular uh, optic sight. Personally, that's what I've just been drawn to. I know there's a lot of different options in this game. You know, you got your GI Mini, which I'm sure a lot of people like. You even have, uh, if you want to go with, you know, more traditional holographic or r red dots, although I don't really see many people using this reflex sight. Uh, personally, though, the circular ones work out well for me. There's the Viper, um, but I rock with the Cronin on this weapon, and that's been working out well for me. Once again, you give up your ADS speed, but this is a weapon where you don't want to be getting caught in a sprint. You're going to lose if you're caught in a sprint to people running around with that crazy shotgun or people running around with SMGs or even M4s. You need to be uh, making your moves a little more tactic tactically, I guess you could say, and um, of course, I think it's worth it, in my opinion, to give up the default sight to be able to get this red dot. Next is the Skeleton Stock. This is another one. This is an attachment that is not available on many weapons, the skeleton stock. So when it is there, it's something you definitely want to tap into and take advantage of. And it is amazing on the AK-47. It's an ultralight stock that speeds up weapon handling and movement at the expense of aiming stability. Now, what you get out of this is aim walking movement speed, which is traditional your stock speed. Now, it's not crazy in this game. I know a lot of people have been saying buff stock, they need to buff stock. I kind of agree. Even on you know stocks that give you aim walking movement speed, it does still feel Kind of, kind of stiff and kind of like a scarecrow. You can't really straight back and forth crazy, especially coming off of some games like, you know, Black Ops 4 with that saw. I mean, before they nerfed the SOG, you could, you got double stock on it. I mean, that was an SMG, so it's uncomparable to a weapon like this. But yeah, aim walking movement speed. Then you get traditional movement speed and ADS speed. So those are two pluses that go against what we have on the barrel. So sort of countering those. And then you do lose a little, a little bit of aiming stability. Once again, aiming stability is one that personally, I really haven't been affected by it too much. It's one that I'm willing to give up on a lot of setups because I'm not trying to, you know, post up and hard scope uh, at a doorway literally across ground war. Uh, I'm more, you know, if I'm posted up and aiming down sight, it's just gonna be for a second or two. It's not like I need my thing to be perfectly still like I'm trying to snipe them in the head or something. Next perk is going to be sleight of hand. This is probably my favorite one in the game. Uh, honestly, I've just been using it on almost all my setups with sleight of hand just because of the fact that sure, you can go with extended mags and extended mags could be a better option than this if you're playing on like a ground war. Maybe you'd want to go with, uh, you you know, a 75 round drum mag. That could be nice if you want to just not worry about reload and, and post up in a ground war or the, but the 40 round mag, that's probably not worth it. I mean, to get what, a, you know, a couple extra bullets to give up your ADS speed and movement speed. Why do that when you give the, the these weapon perks are actually pretty overpowered or strong? Because look, I get sleight of hand and what is the con? Uh, it's non-existent. There's no con. The only con is that it takes up one of my slots. That's basically it. Um, so personally, it comes down to preference. I can totally see 75 round drum mag working great rate on this weapon um, because that's the sort of style that it plays, but it's up to your preference and it's up to uh, what what style you're sort of playing. I was playing traditionally with this setup uh, 10v10 and sleight of hand is very nice in 10v10 because you might get rushed by two players, then you want to reload. You don't really want to rely on secondaries in this game where the time to kill is super duper fast, even though if you have a nice secondary like the Deagle, you're not going to be able to beat people with a shotgun, with an MP7, MP5, with the M4, with any of the decent guns that everyone is spamming and using in this game, you're not really 
going to be able to beat them. Next is the rear grip. Now, usually with rear grips, you'll see my favorite one in this game so far is the stippled grip tape, giving you ADS speed and sprint to fire speed. I use this on the majority of my setups. However, on this weapon, like I said, this is designed more, this clasp is designed for controlling this thing, not necessarily for getting your gun up quick. It's, you know, the opposite of what I have with like a P90 setup or an SMG setup or even some assault rifles where I rock the stippled grip tape. I go with the rubberized grip tape, and this is actually very helpful. You get recoil control once you give given up aiming stability, but I was rocking with this, and it really makes the recoil not too bad. Personally, I didn't really notice that. There was never really times where I was losing the gunfight and being like, damn it, that recoil was too much. You know, there's times where you lose a gunfight because you get your gun up slow, or you just get outclassed by certain things, but that wasn't really an issue for me, and maybe it's because I'm keeping the fights to more mid-long instead of long to super long, which actually exists. Those lines of sight actually exist exist in this game simply because of ground war. Once again, giving up aiming stability, I'm totally cool with that to get a really good uh, rubberized grip tape that I think definitely does help with your recoil control. Anyway, that is the setup that I rock with this AK-47. This weapon is quickly becoming, honestly, one of my top weapons in this game. I was sleeping on it. I'll admit it. I was sleeping on this thing. Um, not necessarily even my fault for sleeping on it because it's unlocked late and this weapon really is a grind, right? Or, or this game is really a grind to get up to even those, like, those first 55 levels are quite grindy to even unlock this AK-47. K47, which is unlocked at what, level 53 or whatever. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Uh, once again, this is Best Class Setups Episode 9. we got way more stuff coming up, uh, more tips and tricks videos coming soon, and definitely more Class Setups. We still have some more guns to cover and some more important guns to cover. So drop a like if you made it to the end of the video. Comment AK47 in the comment section down below if you made it to the end. Uh, drop a like, subscribe, join me on that journey to a million subscribers, and I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.